morning. Well, welcome to everybody on the replay. Welcome. Come on in. I'm sitting at the kitchen table again. And um, it, I can't believe Monday's come round again. Ah, oh, I think that's probably because I, I was on the hop. Yes, that's why I was with you on Friday. That's why I'm getting confused. But welcome to everybody who's joining me on the replay. You'll hear the boiler buzzing away in the background, heating, heating the room up. So I hope that's not too loud. Janice, good morning. Oh, Janice is saying good afternoon. You're right. Janice is getting up. Up and Adam, Janice, yes, getting ready for work. And here I am having a lovely little relax here because it's the afternoon and Freddie and I have been on a lovely walk and it's just time to sit and do some art with you gorgeous people. <laughs> Mrs. Gigi, oh, Marlene, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Oh, so nice to see you. Bonnie, good morning. Oh, so nice to see you. <laughs> really nice to see you. Oh, it's pouring with rain and you and you want to stay home. Oh, do you know my heart goes out to you, Janice? Sorry, you've got to go out. Oh, oh dear, I know. I know. I apologise. Oh. Here comes Anne. Oh, Anne, I loved your video, your video, your live stream. I loved what you were doing there. I'm trying to get my camera angle sorted here so we can see what I'm up to today. <laughs> it's not rocket science. What I am doing today is just very, very relaxing. So... <laughs> Do come and join me. I, you'll be proud of me. I've got my painty apron on today, so I don't get paint on my dress. <laughs> oh, I'm not like me to be that organised. Oh, so nice to see you. Anne, I loved the Christmas decorations that you were making. You are going to have such fun when the family comes. When you're grand making Christmas decorations with your grandsons. Oh, really lovely. And a very warm welcome to everybody come coming in. Oh, Kimberly, welcome. Oh, I've been enjoying catching up with all your projects on Instagram. No, Twitter. Twitter. Kimberly shares her 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 work on Twitter and you've been doing some slow stitching and and I love it. Oh Kimberly's ready, ready for snack time. They'll be nice and cool down. <laughs> ready for snack. Oh yes we do. Oh I wonder what sugar cookies sound so nice, so American. I wonder I wonder what sugar, sugar cookies are like. You'll have to post a picture on Twitter. Ah, oh, Imelda, good morning. So nice to see you. Welcome. Snack, stack Shapes is Imelda. Welcome. <laughs> so nice to see you. So nice to see you. Suze, good morning. Good morning, dear friend. Oh, so nice to see you. Peggy, good morning. Oh, Peggy's hopping into the shower but listening. So enjoying over on Instagram. Everything Peggy's sharing. We were having a chat on Aunt Beck's group. No, she was doing a live and it was after the hop. And as soon as we finished doing one hop, we're thinking, ooh, what should we do for the next one? And it was suggested. And Mary mentioned this in, in her chat on her live on Friday evening. That we're going to do throwback crafts. Good morning, Jean. Good morning. How are you? Oh, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. I did enjoy your last video 
And you're thinking about getting a pet, you were saying, Jean. Yes, so we were thinking about doing throwback crafts. Crafts that we used to do back in the day. And on Peggy's Instagram, she put on, I think it was on Saturday, because she has a lot of vintage Christmas items to share with us. She put on, do you, does anyone remember, you make like yo-yos with the round, round yo-yos, and then you thread them and you make a rag doll out of them or an animal. Good morning, Caroline. Oh, um, everybody, Caroline or Caroline is in the chat. Welcome to you. Feeling well enough to do a little bit of chatting with us as well. Oh, Caroline or Carol, I can't get used to calling you Carol. I'm making washi tape. <laughs> oh, if I'm missing you, shout at me. Please do in capitals. I don't want to miss you. Christy, good morning. How are you feeling, dear Christy? I see you've been doing, you're back in the studio and back to working and doing things for your Etsy shop, cards and, oh, so nice to see you. Welcome to, oh, there you go. I always like to do that just in case there's any spare paint and I don't want to waste it. But it had dried already. <laughs> oh, Carol, good morning. So nice to see you. Oh, Really nice to see you. Good morning, Deb. I'm here all the way across the sea. Come on in. Come and sit around the table with me. We'll have a little chat. And do bring your craft with you if you want to. Obviously not Peggy, because Peggy's in the shower. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yes, just painty paper on deli paper to start with oh here comes my barb all the way from canada nice to see you barbara barbara's been sharing links youtube links with me on we email one another and oh it's so lovely. I sit there with my morning cup of tea and my biscuit in bed doing my crochet. And I open up an email on my phone from, from Barbara and she shared some music with me. She shared some amazing YouTube videos. Oh, lovely. And the one that I've enjoyed, I would say the most this week, is is called Barble Tellers, the Clark Family Creative. I recommend if you want to be cheered up and oh feel good about the world. The Clark Family Creative. It's a beautiful little family, a father playing the guitar with his two sons playing along and his dear little girl dancing and singing and shaking one of the little shaky eggs. Oh, Lucia, good morning. Nice to see you. Oh, actually, it's probably, is it morning time for you, Lucia? Yes, very early in the morning, I would imagine. Oh, Lucia, I loved, I loved your video, your star. I have ordered my paper bags. If you haven't caught up with the hop, go to Mary Artier, go to her community tab or her Facebook group or her YouTube channel and you'll find some links to all the amazing people that were 
at the hop. Oh, we had such a fantastic time. And we loved your video. You were keeping it real. Alison, good morning. So nice to see you. Oh, really nice. Come on, in you come. <laughs> Let's start the week off as we mean to go on. Oh, relaxed. And arty. I would imagine some of you are sipping your first cup of coffee of the day. <laughs> Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, dear friend. Come on in. <laughs> I'm sitting at the kitchen table and we're, we're making washi. We're making washi date. Ah, our lovely Barbara doesn't have a YouTube channel, but, but you do recommend some for us, don't you, Barbara? So do nip over. I'll, I will, I'll leave a link in my comments later to the Clark family and they, Clark family creative, and they, they're amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah, so just... Not your average Christmas colours, but I do like for a winter scene. So this could be Christmas, or if you don't celebrate Christmas, it could be a wintry scene. Gold and lilac. Good morning, dear Janet. Nice to see you. Who makes the yo-yo dolls? Oh, Suze. It's on Peggy Fitzmorris's Instagram account and it's a it's a craft that used to be made I remember it from the 70s I don't know whether anybody else does where you stack all the yo-yos up thread it through and you make a leg and then another leg and then a body hop over to our lovely Peggy if you pop Peggy Fitzmorris into Instagram, her channel will come up. If not, I will leave a link in the description box. We were talking about throwback crafts and they were talking about, we were talking about macrame. That was something we did in the 70s. Yes, Jean, I'd forgotten all about those dolls until till I saw, saw Peggy's. So maybe someone in the next hop will do that. Yes, Vanessa, good morning. So nice to see you. Ah, oh, Vanessa, you are an angel, absolute angel. Do come in. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen table. Peggy's Instagram, there it is. Nip onto that and have a look at the yo-yo dolls. I love that. It's a throwback craft. Throwback to the 70s and the maybe 80s. Oh, oh, those were the days. Yes. And I noticed when Mary was talking about macrame, you call it macrame. Same difference, same difference. Oh, hi, Matt. Are you on your break from home, homeschooling? Nice to see you. Really nice to see you. Look at me making a mess at the kitchen table here. <laughs> oh, one thing I wish is that we could get together, Matthew, and we could do some crafting or we could do some cooking. I remember last time you were here, Matt, we picked potatoes, didn't we? from the garden and we made potato wedges. <laughs> oh, Matt, we'll be able to do all that. Soon enough, soon enough. Maybe next year, just missing you. <laughs> but nice we can get together on Instagram and Twitch and YouTube. <laughs> so nice to see you. 
You just have a short break in schooling, don't you? And you're joining us. That's so nice. Oh, Janice calls macrame or macrame, as you'll call it, the art of tying knots. Yeah, that's, uh, that's another throwback craft. So watch out for the January hop because we will all be doing some crafts. And, and Mary was asking for ideas too. So if anybody's, I'm, I'm making a lovely mess here. Mary was asking for ideas too. So if anybody has ideas, pop them in my chat or message Mary. Because we want to do some things that you guys would like to learn. You're really bad at crafting. You would have to teach me. <laughs> oh, look at that. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> Oh dear, no, I just love making a mess, Matthew. Not a pro, not a pro. <laughs> Nothing new here. <laughs> oh dear, oh, I don't know. No, literally, Matthew, we are literally just making a mess. <laughs> oh, Dawn Calvin would love that over at Let's Make a Mess, wouldn't she? <laughs> oh. So lovely to see you. Matthew is my nephew. And Katie Cat. Katie will be, if she's not here now, Matthew, Katie, your cousin Katie, will be in the replay later. So, yeah. <laughs> I hear that you're getting quite good at in your art lessons, though, Matthew. <laughs> ah, talking about throwback crafts. Ah. There. Good morning. Good morning, Aunt Bex. We we were saying how we were chatting in your live. Don't worry, folks. This is a really blunt knife. I know you can do damage with a blunt knife, but um, worry not. Worry not. Let me see. Let me draw something on here because because I'm doing this live. Now this is the sort of thing. You're very good at making a mess. Oh, I can believe it, Matthew. <laughs> oh, dear. But cooking's a form of art, and you love cooking as well. We shall be having some homemade cookies later, but I presume you'll be back at school by then. Oh, when I do see you at Christmas, Matthew, I will bring ginger cookies, if they don't go wrong, Matt. <laughs> Oh, Sue says, not sleepy at all. Your pain level is controlled, which is usually what keeps you up. Oh, Sue's, gosh, that's really nice. That's, I'm so pleased to hear that. Wow. Gosh, does that mean that you are able to get some things done that you can't usually do? Or you're just relaxing and enjoying not being in pain. Yes, I am so pleased to hear that. You have quite a few fellow fellows here that really do get what you're going through. Good morning, Sophia. How are you? Look, we have Matthew, Sophia. Is from India. Barb is from Canada. We've got girls in from the USA. We've got Mrs. Gigi from Sweden. Matthew from London. I mean, wow. It's a worldwide crafting day here. Sophia, I had a ring on the doorbell today and I had a parcel all the way from India. I had ordered from Sophia Dust Fairies on YouTube and Facebook some beautiful silk fabrics and trims. I treated myself and I would 
we are a world, we're a whirlwind of crafters. Yes, Vanessa. <laughs> it's so lovely. Ah, oh, Kimberly from New York. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're all, we come from all over the shop, don't we? So tomorrow I will make a little video of me opening up my fabric from Sofia. It looks such a big parcel. I thought it's it will I, it needs a whole little video of its own. <laughs> I did. I received my parcel. Thank you very much, Sofia. I I love it. And I haven't opened it yet. I will make a video tomorrow and share it as I open it with everybody. And of course, I will be sharing it in Happy Mail and the crafts that I make too. So I thank you, dear sister over in, over in India. There's Cheryl in, Cheryl in, oh, now, I should know that because I've, VA is, VA, what state? Oh, this is quite a good quiz, actually, Matt. If you're still here, if you haven't gone back to class, virtual class, what state in America is VA? I should know that because I've written letters to you. Ah, oh, Barbara, yes, I, 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 I thought long and hard and I did, I gave myself a little treat, but I will be sharing. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh, just like Jersey does when she makes a happy mouth, she says, I'm going to put a little bit of Sophia in, in this for you. <laughs> oh, I've got some happy mouth to share and I'll be making I'll be using a little bit of candy later to when I make make something candy. I saw you come into the chat and my my mind is a few steps behind me. Did I say good morning to you dear candy? If I didn't, good morning. Oh, ginger snaps. Oh, now Aunt Bex the ginger cookies that I make are the ones that you put bicarb on and they, they have, they form like a little crust and they're quite soft in the middle. Ginger snaps, do we call those brandy snaps as well? Are those the ones that you roll around and fill with cream? So 70s. Mm. There was me talking about throwback crafts, but oh no, we're back to talking about yummy recipes and I love it. <laughs> oh, Virginia, yes. So Matt, VA stands for Virginia. Thank you. I'm gradually learning all these things. Very blunt knife. So don't worry, everybody. A very blunt knife that I use for these purposes. Throwback craft, Aunt Bex. I am potato printing. Now, this is something, yes, not new, not new. I, I have done with the children. And this is something I used to do, Annie, if you'll be listening on the replay, I know. I used to do this at work, didn't I, Annie? I used to do the carving for the clients. I used to go into the kitchen and say, can I have a potato, please? <laughs> and we used to do, we used to do printing, but it, equally so, it's just a quick way, instead of carving a rubber stamp, Kathy Berg on her Instagram account did a beautiful, carved a beautiful rubber stamp. Good morning, Gailan. Good morning, Christina. You finally made a live. Good morning and welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's it is nice. Although 
being on the replay is fine, but it, it is nice to catch a live. I love lives. They're so chatty, aren't they? I'm just going to take some of the moisture off this. You don't use any food unless it was spoiled for crafting. I so agree. You were a childcare director with so many families and refugees. Do you know, do you know, Barb, I really did think of that when I, when I started this this morning because we get our potatoes from um, a company called Oddbox. So we use wobbly, we, we have wobbly fruit and veg um delivered and i seriously was thinking about that and and i've washed it and i thought when i finish this craft i'm going to chop this bit off wash it, and this bit will be fine barb i totally agree yes yes wasting food so uh, in effect i will have only wasted this amount yep i agree with you totally in the 70s, there was that dried, using dried pasta in picture in pictures. And then that, yes, that did go out of vogue. I do remember that. Mm. Ah, yes, totally agree. Oh, a can now. What are you finishing a can of? One thing I am going to do, I am going to be doing some crafting mama. I'm going to be making some. Yep, so you're right. I will put this half, won't go to waste. I will cook with that bit. Yeah, that's true. It, it, other things, other things can. Yes, you can compost the other bits. I will. Yes, I do compost all my vegetable peelings and waste. Yes, I do. Oh, yes. You, you cannot. Let me put the knife over there. You can't beat. You cannot beat ginger nut biscuits dipped in tea. My favourite. <laughs> Pop that down there. So I'm just making my own wrapping paper as well. I'll get back to the washi tape in a minute. Remind me. I digressed. <laughs> yeah, it did go out of the window. I Yes, I remember that. I think it was there when, yeah, it did. Yeah. I'll just spread this out. So, yes, hopefully there won't be much waste. I totally agree with you. Makes such a lovely print. Oh. So if you just have a little spare one or one that's gone to seed, maybe you could use that. <laughs> Your, oh, Janice said, your hippie high school English teacher dried vegetables and made jewellery from carrots. Oh, from carrots. Really? Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yes, so for a more lasting print, yes, you could get out your lino or your your the plastic rubbers yes pen towel rubbers that's it ah yes it's quite fun to make your own isn't it ah Gemma good morning excuse me I just knocked the camera didn't mean to knock you there ladies and gentlemen <laughs> Oh, Aunt Bex, yes. Okay, hold on a minute. I'm not a mod. Yes, thank you. Thank you for putting it in caps as well, Aunt Bex. Let me let me do that because Aunt 
Aunt Bex wants to drop some links here. Yes. Remove, put, use, uh, oh, add as moderator. That's why, oh, I'm so worried about doing that. There we are. Yes. Thank you. That should work. Thank you. And thank you, Cheryl. Cheryl, you're so good. <laughs> You'll like that for our dear Beth, too. Oh. You've been using the same roll of brown paper since 1995 to wrap presents. That must have been a huge roll of paper. And everything I could think of, it was a huge roll and still has plenty to go. That's amazing. Do you, do you decorate it as well? Brown paper just with beautiful ribbon is, is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Deb, I have a massive roll of cellophane also from the mid 90s. You use it often for homemade fruit baskets. Oh, how lovely. Oh, Aunt Bex is dropping a link here. Thank you. I love that. Sometimes when I'm on a live or on a replay, more when I do the replay, it takes me ages to replay because I think, oh, I'm just going to follow this link and I'm just going to follow that link. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, this is fun. This is fun. I'm having too much fun. Too much fun. I will do some more on it and then wash it and then just cut that off so there's not too much waste. And thank you for reminding me of that. I appreciate that. You have some Christmas stamps and you use those. Oh, some big ones. Oh, yeah, the foam stamps are quite good for that, aren't they? You've got some foam stamps, haven't you, Anne? Yes. Oh, Aunt Bex, was that Laurie Marie's? Oh, thank you, Gail. Just something very... Ooh. <laughs> I love that. Just sort of find the round object. Oh, lovely. How lovely. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Such a lovely bright red. Look at this. I do apologize that you can't see much. One day I'll get my camera angles sorted. <laughs> she promises. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, and for gift ideas, visit Becky at Notes from my sewing room. Oh, lovely. Oh, three berries. Oh, right. Three berries. Thank you. <laughs> three berries. Creating odd numbers. Is that right? Do you want three um, holly leaves as well? Oh, this would be nice to, to do mistletoe, wouldn't it? Um, carve a mistletoe. Oh, that's just one leaf. And what I haven't done is gone off the page as well, which I need to. Well, there's some silver mixed in as well. I love that. Mm. Jean, you used to buy the large rolls of brown craft paper to ship in. During those years, I would wrap my Christmas presents in it with plaid, oh, that's tartan, ribbon. Oh, yes, I love I love, I love tartan ribbon or plaid ribbon, as um, you would say. I'm just going to put some going off the edge. Antlers and a red dot for the nose. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I will. I will. I will do some more. I've been meaning to carve, do some carving as well. Ooh, all the ideas here. Janice is getting ready for work and having amazing ideas. Write it down, Janice, because you can't do it yet. Do it now, but um, didn't we have an amazing time at the hop? Wow. And 
wooden craft from from the Dollar Tree, the little stack shapes. I'm not going to waste any of this paint. I'm just going to pop it on here. Oh, and I got some red on it as well. Love that. I don't. Ooh, lovely. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> oh, Gail says she's been making gift wrap paper for a few years now, except Christmas. Still have lots of store bought for that. Oh, yes. You, you use what you have. Yes. I've just run out of store bought and I have a few more parcels to wrap. So, and Sam had also had a present a present no not a present he had something shipped to him and it was shipped in beautiful white tissue paper so i'm going to make some wrapping paper with that as well lovely i'll just add some more dots kathy good morning we're going old school oh i dipped it in the wrong color paint Oh, look at that. That makes a gorgeous mud colour. We're going old school today. Potato printing. Making our own wrapping paper. There we are. There. Super. <laughs> nothing new. It's nothing new, but it doesn't mean to say it's not effective. <laughs> Hildegan, good morning. Really nice to see you. Oh, you're at work, so we'll keep you company. You'll be there in the background. Yes, yes. Dawn, good morning. Good morning from snowy Scotland. Mm. Let me get my candy glue book out. I want to use this paint up. I don't want to waste it. So, I shall just do some in my candy glue book. Let's swap myself around here. Am I getting all muddled up here? Got my candy glue book. And now, I can't make a glue book just a glue book. I, I do paint and everything else in it too. <laughs> Oh, Peggy, Peggy's with us now, out of the shower. We've had a lovely link to your, your channel, your Instagram account, so we can catch up with what you're going to share this week. Is it going to be the vintage Christmas apron soon, Peggy? Just saying. <laughs> There we are. Don't want to waste this paint, so I'll just put some in my glue book slash journal slash. There we are. Book. And Candy gave it to me, and I'm calling it my candy glue book. <laughs> my handy candy glue book. There. And some more red paint. Oh, you think I'll just use this up, I'll just use this up, and then you end up having to get some more out. Never mind. Just put some dots in. Three dots, says Aunt Bex. <laughs> there we are. Good morning, Dawn. Is it nice and now where did I put the red? Where did I put the red? Already I can't find things. Oh well, I can do that later. I need more red. Oh there it is. So it will turn up when I'm not looking for it. Oh Peggy says she used to make ornaments with bottle caps, but picture inside and cover with Mod Podge. Punch a hole in the top and hang. Ooh, bottle caps. Now, do you mean as in like Coke or beer cans? Because Emma on Starving Emma, someone in her group had 
bottle caps and they'd put little bits of jewellery inside and cogs and then as Christmas decorations and or jewellery and then put glossy accents on so, on. Oh, you could imagine like a jam jar lid as well with pictures inside and jewels. What a good idea. Something else to write down. Write it down, yes, lest we forget. <laughs> there, that just makes a jolly page. Oh, I'm collecting them, Candy. Yes, I do want to make a piece of furniture with the beer can. And Coke can and drinks, round metal caps. I do use them for charms as well on journals. But yes, I, I plan to, to do that. But you need quite a lot for that. Right, now let's get back this. And I will use that paint up later. And I will use this potato up. Don't worry, it will just get chopped off that bit and washed and I can use that. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cute to put a grandchild's photo? Oh, yes. Oh, what a lovely idea. Oh, we're sparking off. That's what I love. We're sparking off ideas. Oh, wonderful idea. Absolutely wonderful. In the jam jars, or if you've got a mini photograph, like a little mini photo, or a picture of a beloved, of a beloved friend. Or a, a beloved pet. That's what I meant, really. Oh, Peggy says, also take shallow small boxes and make a diorama. Oh, that, in fact, is, is what Anne was making a diorama, weren't you, with your little wooden blocks? But you could in a box, yes. Wonderful ideas. Snow globes from jam jars. Oh, yes. How do you make everything float, Peggy? I'm not quite sure how you would make it shake. I did have a kit once, was going to do that with the boys, and I just don't think we ever got round to doing that. Where's Ben today? Has he been in the chat? Sometimes he says to me, I came in the chat, but you were so busy chatting to someone, you didn't see me. <laughs> oh. So I'm going to get my homemade washi here, and let's see if it works. <laughs> I haven't tested it, so we'll test this live. So if you've run out of Christmas washi or you haven't got any, like I didn't seem to have any. Oh, good morning, Melanie. We're making homemade washi. <laughs> Nothing new here. Oh, are, are you working, um, Melanie? Hmm. Oh, look, everybody's asking about... West of Scotland is Dawn. People are asking about your lovely West. He's actually laid down, been out for a walk up the lane. Oh, and you're having a quick break. I read the description of your channel and your nickname for lovely West. You call him 24-7, don't you? Because he's always... He's always there, isn't he? Helping you light the fire. Absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't been over to see uh, West, Dawn's dog, go over to West of Scotland and have a little look on that channel. Oh, what? Yes, Peggy's been saying a glycerine, a glycerine ratio. Kathy, you want to do that with your grandson, don't you? I even got the distilled water in, I do remember. Oh, I'd love to do that. Mmm. Peggy, get all your ideas here. <laughs> oh, 
West of Scotland has some new videos. I think the last one I saw was West lighting the fire. Here we are, popping down the tape. And what I love about washi tape, let me see if I can show you, is when washi tape is transparent and you can see the print underneath. And that seemed to work. I'm loving that. I love it when something actually works when you're live. <laughs> Kathy, I just pour some in about a third glycerine. Mm, write it on the list. Yes, a list of crafts to do. Making a slow a snow globe. Mm, I do have glycerine in the cupboard because I use it for my royal icing for cakes. So what I did for the washi is I used deli paper and I scraped some paint on and did some printing. Should we put some white on it as well? That might show up nicely. Let's, let's put some white on. Okay. Came down for my handy dandy spatula. Let's put some white on. Kathy, good morning. So nice to see you. And I still haven't caught up with your video hop. I watched you live, but I wanted to see the completed page. So I will be going back. Good morning, Irene. How are you? Nice to see you. Welcome. Your first time here. Oh, I know you from Crafting Mamas, don't I? So nice to see you. I want to, I don't want to waste anything, so I'm just going to use this, this up. Not going to waste anything. This is my... This is my Jean, my Jean Bainey Christmas journal. So I have my candy, candy Christmas glue book. I'm going to be using that all through the year, actually. There you go. Don't want to waste it. And what was I doing? Oh, yes. Just make some circles on here in the white. Or snowdrops would be nice, actually. Ooh, don't let me miss anything when I get concentrating on things. Oh, Kathy, how are you? How are you getting on with your sewing machine? Kathy's got a new sewing machine. How are you getting on? Remind me where about you live. I don't, I've got a feeling it's not in the States. If my memory serves me well. Just got a few bits of white on there. And I don't want to waste that. So I'll just do that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dawn. Yes, the cover was made by Jean. Isn't it gorgeous? It's one of her gorgeous little, gorgeous little watercolours. I love it. Little tiny, tiny bunting. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I'm very fortunate. <laughs> we swapped journal covers. Yes. Yeah, we did. We did. Oh, Aunt Beck says, why not just splatter the white on? Just an idea. Oh, gosh, yes, I'm loving this. Yeah, of course, you have the best ideas. Do, do you think one's, everybody has different ideas. I love that idea. Do you think one's brain goes to mush a little bit when we're on a line as well? Of course, I haven't got a paintbrush here because I use this. Hmm, to splatter. So, hmm, 
Hmm. Now I've got the paint out. I'm not quite sure I can splatter. Unless I go to the other room and fetch myself a paintbrush. I will be back. <laughs> oh, Violet, good morning. So nice to see you. Just nipping to the other room. Excuse the chair. Okay. wonderful to splatter paint. I've got a paintbrush. I should just get myself some water. There we are. I'm back. I'm back. So nice to see you, Violet. How are you, by the way? Taking it slow, I would imagine. Takes a time, doesn't it? I'll water that down, I presume. You, yes. Oh, lovely. I love it. Ooh, really making a mess now. <laughs> My nephew's not here. Love that. Ooh, love it. Even got some snow on the keyboard. Wonderful. You'll be proud of me, Peggy. I've got my apron on. It's not vintage, though. It's, I love that. I love that. You come up with the best ideas. The best, best, best. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ooh, it's going to get mine. Oh, I'm going to get this journal out as well. Let's put some paper in between. Let's get my candy journal out. It's not, it's going, I'm going to carry on in January on this one. I'm going to do some splat, I'm going to do some, I can do some splatting on my trucks. My American trucks. Reminds me of Jersey, this. Ooh, lovely. Let it snow. How lovely. Thank you for asking. I have some achy muscles mostly. I've been hearing about this. It just does take a while, doesn't it, to recover? Yes. You're listening to your body, I would imagine. Yes. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely love that. Thank you. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. La 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 I love it. I'm singing, Barbara. What song shall we have today? Barbara usually provides the music for us. Oh, that was fun. Thank you. I enjoyed doing that. Mm. There we are. Oh, lovely. Just some, oh, let's have some more. Not enough snow. Let it snow more. I don't think I'm going to cover this page up much because I love the red trucks. This this picture is from Deb, Deb, Deb Adams, Deborah Adams, and I love it. I don't want to cover the red truck up. I love it. Your red truck is a little bit like our red post vans and our red buses. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we are. Bob's got plenty of snow, haven't you? So, all I did was, let me tear some of this. I use double-sided tape. So it's deli paper, so it's transparent, like, I'm sure everybody's done this before. I just fancied some Christmas washi. And you get from your friend's supply that they've left at your house. Sorry, Melanie, if you're still here, I'm using the last of your double-sided tape. I will replace it. I'll put that paint down there and I won't waste it. I will use that. I will use that later. Let's find a bit that's actually dry, that hasn't got much snow on it. Just for demonstration purposes. <laughs> there 
There we are. Let's pop that down there. And then I just use the double-sided tape. Oh, Dawn, Dawn just dashed straight in from walking west and hadn't even taken her jacket and hat off <laughs> and came straight to the computer. Oh, she's going to take her jacket off. Do you know you need to go and put the kettle on, Dawn? Goodness sake, we'll be doing that in a minute. <laughs> there we are. And then I... There, and then I'll just I'll just do a ripped edge. Here we are. Are you recommending a channel to us, Jean? Somebody I haven't heard of. Oh, do do tell us. There we are. Just a bit ripped, but that's fine. And there we have it. Some more, some more washi tape. And you can keep this, you could keep this in a folder if you didn't want to. It's got some silver in it. If you can pick it up, purple and silver. And the other is going to have a nice little snippet of white in it too, a little bit of snow. Thank you, Barbara dear. There we are. And there's a bit without any sticky on there and I'm just gonna stick this here. Good morning, Beth dear. How are you? Oh, nice that you can join us. Oh, that's so nice. Lovely. You had such a busy time. Beth, Beth's a champion. She was, you were, you were streaming. I can't quite peel that off, but I will pop this over here now. So that is my washi. You were streaming on Thursday, Beth, and then you streamed on the hop on Friday, then you streamed on Saturday. You must have been exhausted. Oh, it's grey and rainy here, Aunt Bex. We've had a lovely muddy, muddy walk already, <laughs> Freddie and I. Freddie, yes, Freddie's under the table on his lovely orthopaedic bed. Oh, how do you make it stick? Oh, yes, yes. Again, let's find a page with some book printing because I love it when you see the book print through. So you you put your, you stick your double-sided tape on and then when you're ready to use it, you peel it back, Irene, like that. And it leaves the double-sided tape on. Yes. Is that clear as mud now? And then it's, you can stick it down just like that. And then it, it does show through the writing, the text, just like normal washi. Just like real washi. <laughs> there you go, rip that off. I'm going to make a little tab as well because I do like making tabs on my. So, yes, there's the peel back. Stick it on, peel back. Does that make any sense, Irene? Oh, yeah, you make, you make your pretty pattern on grease proof or deli paper some form of very thin paper or tissue paper then let me do it again let me do it again then you turn it over like this Irene then you find your and then you stick double-sided tape 
onto your print. So it's like that. And then it's ready to peel off, Irene. Does that make, um, does that make any sense? Now, use all these little bits. Use all the little bits. Oh, okay. Scott, oh, Scott has the second interview because he had the first one last Monday at 12. Is it 2 p.m.? Oh, wow. Second interview. That's, that is, that's really positive. Oh, wow. That's, that's amazing. And there it is there. And I'm just going to pop this in this, this envelope here, ready for later, so I don't forget to put it in there. Was that, was that clearer? Okay, thank you very much for explaining. Look, very much so I'm, oh yeah, yes, it is, yeah. And it's not, there'll be lots of people who've done it and it's nothing new and, but it's just nice to make our own stuff sometimes. But um, Beth, the reason I did this was because we were chatting on lovely Malaya's channel, weren't we? And we were saying that we, Beth, Malaya and I were saying we didn't have any Christmas washi. So that's what made me do it, <laughs> to, make, to, to make that. So I'm going to put the kettle on. So, Kathy, good morning. Oh, so nice to see you. So nice to see you. Come on in. Now, if I missed you earlier on, I apologise for that. Good morning, Laurie. Oh, so nice to see you. Come on, in you come. I'm going to put the kettle on, so do excuse it if it's a little bit noisy, but it, it's nearly snack time, Kimberly, isn't it? Kimberly's waiting with her sugar cookies, aren't you? Oh, wash, wash it with the potato stamp. I will do some of that, Aunt Bex, and I will post that later. I will post that in your group. Yes, I'm going to wash this paint off my hands, pop the kettle on, Yes, it's time to, this just gives you all time just to get a little snack, wash all the paint off your hands. <laughs> oh, let me give you something wonderful to look at. Let me give you wonderful things to look at. We've kept the postman busy today, this week. Oh, thanks, Jean. Yes, it would look nice on the um, washi tape, wouldn't it? Some my cookies today. Lovely. Oh, I've lost the tea cosy. Oh, I've lost the tea cosy. 
oh, well, never mind. I can't put the tea cosy on because I've lost it. <laughs> right, I'm back. I'm back. There we are. Sorry to knock you. It's tea time. Yes, time for tea. <laughs> ah, there we are. Oh, it is nice to have baking smell and cooking smell, isn't it, there? Yes, yeah. So today I have got, let's make sure I know where the camera is. This is from the recipe swap, Anne. Anne, dear, if you're in the background, you might remember this. This recipe is from Meljoy. Let's just drop that. And it was one of... She shared this with lovely Anne, and she shared it with me too. And these cookies are apricot custard crumbles. And it says, this recipe swap is from Meljoy 2020, and it was one of her children's favourite recipes when they were, she was they were growing up. And if you're still there, it's the one that's got custard powder in. So Anne had to... That, that's a British thing. So Anne had to nip off and buy some custard powder. <laughs> so thank you, Melanie. I did take some round to Melanie's because I made them Saturday. And so I took some round to Melanie and then we ate some and these are left. So uh, let's have a little look. Oh, lovely. They were more snappy, but I quite like a soft cookie. Mm. Although, of course, we call them biscuits. Mm. I'll have a little taste. Mmm. 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 Christina says. Oh, they look good. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Christina, dear, you're up. Let I, I remember now, Christina, that you are Christina. Oh, yes. Christina has a lovely channel. I remember now. You were a swap partner, weren't you? With Who did you swap with? Did you swap with Jean? And you did a beautiful cover. And you've just started to make videos, haven't you? Oh, please, nip over to Christina's channel. Christina's Craft Shack. Christina, you're up very early or late. Maybe, Christina, just let yourself drift off to sleep. Yeah? Because there's always the replay. It's been so nice that you could join us live. But now I'm cons I do that with Beth. And about half, about half past 12, I have to let myself drift off to sleep. Pop us in the background, Christina. Now, if we haven't got any links for Christina's Craft Shack, I will put that in the description. I will put a link in the description box because you had some, I loved your idea. You did some lovely painty papers on one of your videos. A custard pudding. <laughs> oh. Hubby is from Ireland and he wanted me to order custard powder today. He likes my trifle for Christmas. Oh, yes, yes. You cannot beat custard. Now, some people, we have Christmas pudding here, which is, is a raisiny, breadcrumby mixture, quite rich, with brandy or whiskey in some people have brandy butter with that. Other people have custard or cream. Some people have all of it. <laughs> oh, Peggy, is custard powder the same as confectionery white powder sugar? Beth, no. Um, custard powder is a brand by Birds. Let me get it for you and I will show you. <laughs> a little bit like when I, when I had to show you the... Tate and Lyles, Tate and Lyles, didn't I? The syrup, custard powder. There you are. Birds, 
Bird's custard powder. And here you go, Anne. <laughs> you bought yours on. And the cookies, they come out a beautiful colour. And they taste so yummy. And I've made mine with um, gluten-free flour. It's like this. It's a little bit yellowy in colour. It's made of corn flour and dried egg yolk. So you can make your own custard. This is called, this is to, to, make, to make custard. So you would use a few tablespoons of this and caster sugar and you make a paste with milk and then you boil a pan of milk and then you slowly add the boiled milk to the paste. I will, I'll probably make a little video I said to Anne I would make a little video for her of how, me making custard. Are you going to make these cookies for your, grand, for your grandsons, Anne? <laughs> Did I explain that, okay, Dawn, how to make custard from custard powder? <laughs> oh, Jana, you are so good. This is Christina's Craft Shack. This is a link to her channel. Oh, please go over there. Such a lovely channel. Such beautiful ideas. Ah, oh, Eileen, hi, good morning. Oh, she says, OMG, I haven't made bird's custard in a long time. It is so yummy. Yes, you can just have it with, you can have it with cake or a pudding or you can have it on bananas, or as Peggy says, you cool it down and have it on trifle. <laughs> oh, yes, please, Nipo. It's always nice to have new channels, isn't it? <laughs> now, I have some happy mail to share with you while we're having our snack time. Let me just see if the tea is ready here. Because it's, it is nice to have a cup of tea while we chat, isn't it? I'm sure you've all got your lovely hot beverages. <laughs> but look, look at this a beautiful, beautiful Christmas card that I received. Oh, Cheryl says she's been having printing. Oh, oh Eileen, yes, warm custard. Mmm. Oh, you can't beat it. <laughs> you can get it instant, instant made, but it's so much better to use your own. Oh, a happy belated birthday to Eileen. Oh, yes. What kind of tea? This is from, it's English Breakfast, and it's by a company called Brew Tea Company, in an English company. And it's loose leaf, so pop some milk in, and I've given it a stir. Haven't found the cosy. Where did I put that? Somewhere. Oh, I think it's in the wash, actually. And then let's see if it's strong enough. Oh, yes, that's lovely. There we are. People like their tea different strengths, but that to me seems perfect. And the beautiful thing about if you've got a pot of tea, it means, mmm. Oh, yes, I don't like all the fancy flavours. <laughs> English breakfast for me, all the way. Vanilla tea is quite nice, though. Mmm. Alison. Alison's in the house. Or Ali, as we, Ali Cousins. Oh, it's another one, in, another English crafter. <laughs> so let me tell you about this. This card is made by a wonderful friend from Croydon, from my hometown. We belong to the same little art and craft community called Relax and Create. And Michelle has just started Zentangling. And she is hooked. Isn't this beautiful? Now, Michelle will be here. She'll be here in the replay. So 
Hi, Michelle. Welcome. And I'm showing everybody your amazing artwork. You've signed it. Beautiful and delicate Santa's hat, isn't it? I'm going to read the chat out for you just in case you can't see it. Janet, that is lovely, says Janet, USA. And Jean's saying hello to you too. Ah. Oh, Barbara's drinking Bengal tea. Oh, Barb Owen got you hooked. I've never had Bengal tea before. How lovely. Mm. Now, Michelle, Beth says you are a natural. Yes, Michelle is a natural. Someone in our Zoom, because we have to meet in Zoom at the moment, in our Zoom craft session, did this. Michelle started doing it and she just took straight off with it. Amazing. And it's just been churning out the Zentangles ever since. She's finding it very relaxing. So you've got, um, yes, Kimberly says it's very cool. And Aunt Bex says it's very pretty, Michelle. Got a lot of compliments coming here. I'm going to put this up, up now. It's with, oh, Alison, yes. It's, it's made with felt tip, very fine felt markers on cardboard. Yes. And you yes, edged it very well. Card, black cardstock and card. Mm. It is a lovely card. Hildegans, Hildegans from Netherlands, Michelle, saying it's nice. You've got people all over the world admiring your art. <laughs> oh. There we are. So nice that you're joining us, Ali. I love that. <laughs> and I received happy mail from lovely, lovely Beth. Look, a gorgeous book, Her Kitchen, because she knows that, sorry about the glare, but she knows that I like to grow herbs and cook them. She's seen me dashing out in the garden before for plants. <laughs> Oh, oh, Christina says, um, your dogs and cats make appearances in your videos too. I need to get back over to Christina's channel and watch some more um, videos. Mm. That's so lovely. Message me, Christina, um, as well. Please. So, so I, I, I get some, get the links. Yes. Mm. Oh, you've been doing a journal, haven't you, Ali? Yes, in a Facebook group, I think. Oh, <laughs> they're such attention seekers, aren't they? They love to get in the videos. I think that's because they're our fur babies, aren't they, Bear? Herbal bread. There's herbal bread in here. And that sounds nice. Oh, yum. Herbal bread. And look at this, some lovely words and some... Let me just write that down, Beth, so I don't forget. Herbal bread. Herbal bread. I like this paper. Red Japanese. Lovely. Lovely words. And look. Look what I received from Beth. This is one of Beth's beautiful, beautiful Japanese dolls. I feel very blessed. Thank you. Oh, does it, Candy? It's annoying when that happens, isn't it? Switch to live chat. Yes, yes. Look at this gorgeous. If you haven't seen Beth's Japanese book, just ask her to get it out. She gets it out most, most days because you're still receiving happy mail. And Deborah Brown is, is collecting for a Japanese journal too. I think she's calling it an Asian journal. What I love about this is it's got such movement. Beth has nap got a page here and then put napkin on, but she's twisted it. It, it's just amazing. She's not following a pattern. She's making this up as she goes along. And it because she's twisted it, it just moves. Isn't it adorable, Barb? 
I know. I know. She is going to have pride of place in my candy, candy glue book. In January, I shall make a Japanese page just for her. I will probably use some Japanese, a Japanese map page or something like that. So lovely, lovely, happy mail from Beth. Already I'm making things, pockets. I've got papers. I've got napkins. Yum. Thank you. I've got, oh, did you do some sewing on this? And ink. Oh, kitty pictures. Oh, so lovely. I know. The dolls are amazing. It does look like she's spinning around, doesn't it? There's such, to get the movement like that, it's not a flat piece of art. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful things for, thank you. I'm going to keep them in here so I know that they're from Beth's and I'm going to be doing a page. I also received another work of art. Look at this. <laughs> I saw, I saw Aunt Bex, and of course I commented on in Aunt Bex group. I didn't realise you would send one. Oh, Beth, um, Aunt Bex, it's all the way over here. That was so naughty of you to send one. Oh, thank you, Beth. I have sent um Aunt Bex. I have sent something to you but a while ago but I don't know whether it's reached you sometimes things don't but um I think it was one of Mary's tags I sent but sometimes things just go go missing mm. oh Cheryl it's very hard to keep up with who's here and oh I know Christina the dolls are so adorable aren't they <laughs> Look at this. Aunt Bex did a beautiful paint painting of her and her family. I love it. Love it. Or maybe it's done in pens. It's got beautiful background there. Mini Holly. And it's got all the cats. I know Tippy and Howie. <laughs> Aunt Bex talks about her dogs, doesn't she? Let me sit and her cats and her, her little doggy. From Scott, Aunt Bex, Scott, Becky, Greg, and your dog Bernadette, that's right. And the kitties, Piper, Cole, Sally, Howie, Collie, and Tippy. Absolutely, absolutely adorable. I will be putting this in my, I will put it up, but then I will put it along with Michelle's card, in my little journal. I can, I atta I'll attach it to this little tippy on bit here. There, and I'll make it a tip in when it's, when it's all finished. I know, Peggy, absolutely adorable. Can you hear all that, Aunt Bex? You're very talented. It's a beautiful, beautiful. I love the stylized little pictures as well. I love it. <laughs> and of course, I love the stamps. And there's there's a rabbit. Ready for your rabbit and hair journal, Meljoy. That will be coming Meljoy's way. Let me put that with Mel on Meljoy's pile. And of course, a cardinal. Because we don't have cardinals over here. I love them. Did I tell you my mother-in-law used to have a cardinal music box? Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, because they spent a few years in, in America. And I, I also received wonderful happy mail from Jean Moran. Jean, you're not here this morning, although maybe Greg is six foot three inches. Gosh, <laughs> he towers over you. <laughs> oh, how lovely. <laughs> that leads me to saying Jean's not here, 
So at the moment, unless you're in the background, if you are, that's fantastic. Um, just, just relax. So at this stage, I just want to say, if you're on the replay, fantastic. Welcome. I'm, it's so lovely, so lovely to have you. And if you are gently listening in the background because you're tired or today you've just got too much pain, physical or emotional pain or anxiety, we're so glad to have you here and you're so part of it. You're, as Beth would say, you've got the best VIP seats. You're in the balcony and you're so welcome. Just just be here with us and we'll keep you company. Aww. And Jean, you'll be in the replay and people are going to admire your work now. Gemma, good morning. Look at this amazing, amazing Christmas pocket isn't that yes i love the splattered look aunt bex splattering coffee dye that's amazing oh cheryl your daughter's five nine and you're five three. Oh, she must give lovely hugs to you cheryl <laughs> oh dear <laughs> hmm so I'm so fortunate, Gemma. I know. I never expect the happy mail. That's it. That's so good morning. Good morning. Lovely Malaya. Malaya, how are the girls? Because they weren't very well yesterday. How are they? So Jean has made me this amazing pocket. Absolutely love it. I'm going to make this a tip in in my Jean Bainey Christmas journal. I'm not going to put it on one of my tags. I think I'm gonna, I'm going to use washi tape. Oh, Malaya, after talking about making homemade washi, we've been making some washi this morning while you were sleeping. Don't let me miss how the girls are. Everyone seems to be doing better today, thanks. Oh, yes, yeah. Well, children, they get so overtired, don't they? And, yeah, and you want them to rest, don't you? Yes, that will go lovely there. I will make a tip in. I've only got a little bit left, but we made we made our own washi this morning with deli paper and double-sided tape, Malaya, and... It did actually look transparent, like, like real she does, if I can find it, says she, there we are, because we were just saying in your live chat, weren't we, Malaya, the other day, that we didn't have any, see, it's transparent, hmm, oh, it's not rocket science, um, Malaya, dear, <laughs> <laughs> so that's tip in that beautiful tip in this is from Jean Moran beautifully put together and I love the way you've got the Timmy person and you've embellished the hat and you put a huge bow on the dog and the dog looks so much like Freddie Jean Moran so so thoughtful thank you Thank you very much. Journey, good morning. Nice to see you. Oh, how nice. Come on in. We're in the kitchen again. Thank you, Jean. And it's got your name on it. And in there, oh, was a recipe that I'm going to put in the recipe book. Oh, I'm going to keep it all together for now. So it, it hasn't got your name. It hasn't. And this, I'm going to try this recipe. It's for cheesy chicken and rice casserole and you use this is a flashback to the 70s i'm loving this cream of chicken soup oh comfort food comfort food right here oh wow chicken and rice and you use the cream of chicken soup thank you and that was coffee dyed and look at this little vintage recipe card for my oh, 
Hmm, comfort food, says Ben. Says Ben, Beth. Ah, uh, Beth, it's like I'm not getting your name right. I'm calling you one of my children. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, good night, Suze. And I'm so glad that you're having a pain-free day. Thank you for popping in and just drift off to sleep. If just have us in the background. I won't make any sudden noises. Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, Natasha, Journey of Crafting. Oh, N Journey of Crafting is Natasha. What, what is my memory like? Oh, of course I know you. You sent me such lovely happy mail the other that I showed last week, um, Natasha. Oh, so nice that you can be here on a live. And a lovely lovely note from Jean how lovely thank you Jean that is so that is so nice that's Jean Moran Jean M oh Sue says thank you my friends sleep tight sleep tight oh journey um Natasha I'm glad I'm glad it arrived just want to show you this before I get into anything else Ben likes a notebook. Ben, are you there? Because sometimes I miss him. If you're there, don't look. He might be working. He likes a notebook. He does love a notebook that you can open right out. He doesn't like one that's sewn. So I got him this and it was blank. So I've put some London wrapping paper on, sending some to you as well, Beth, for your... Beth's next book is the a British book, so sending some to you. Uh, so I put some London wrapping paper on, and in the inside, this was from Anne Lair. Anne Lair's got this amazing skyline of London stamp, and I've made a pocket for Ben. So that's a nice, quick, easy homemade craft that you could do for friends or family oh so there's another on journey of crafting natasha's must have another video up so i've missed that one so i'm going to be going to see what you've been up to and there we are it's just time now for me just to do a little bit more gluing, I think. Oh, I tell you who isn't here or who may be in the background. Lovely Nicole from Relax Cut Glue has put up a new video this morning. Just It's just Natasha, sometimes we don't get notifications. I don't mind if people say to me, I put up another video mm -hmm. because we do need to remind one another, don't we? Because I don't want to forget. I don't want to forget anybody. Because I, I love watching all the videos. Oh, Gail says, you're still waiting on USPS to send me my stamps. Oh, yes, because you want to get those out, don't you? So all week I have been saving a pile of pictures to go in my lovely candy glue book. Mm. So let's have a look what we've got. Lovely. Ponsettias. Oh, lovely napkins. Oh, a gingerbread house. That's lovely. Have I got a gingerbread house page? I don't think I have. YouTube is just silly, I know. You do put one up every day. No, Natasha, I have so missed that. Ah, oh, oh, there we are. There's a link. There's a link. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, never be afraid of messaging me, for goodness sake, and saying, I put up a video. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm going to cut this out. How lovely. 
So this was just from a magazine. Oh, I was saying Nicole put up a video and she has a fantastic glue book idea. And I love it. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I want you to go over and check it out yourself. But this is an idea that I am definitely going to be doing. What you need is a magazine that you haven't torn any pages out of yet. And I found that very hard. Oh, YouTube crashed earlier this morning all around the world. Oh, gosh, yes, it did, didn't it? Oh, I thought that was just my phone app. Oh, yes. Hmm. Yeah, I noticed that. I know. Yes. Channel saying, yay. Going to watch, watch Journey. Yes, Natasha. Good. Hmm. Oh, yes. So going back, I digressed, to Nicole's channel. So I was searching around. I'm thinking, ooh, here's a magazine. I haven't ripped any pages out of yet. Oh, no. All have. But I treat myself to a subscription. I only did this this year because we've been in quite a lot. And I think looking after our mental health is very important. And I thought it's nice to have a magazine subscription coming in. So obviously I do get a lot secondhand as well. So I have already had my, I subscribe to the simple things. So I already have that coming in. Let's see what page I can put my gingerbread house on. So I'm going to use my January one. Oh, look, there's the link. To, thank you, Janet. Don't feel any stress that you have to put up the links, Janet, if you're relaxing and gluing and making things. Gail D. Hi. Hi, Janet. Have you been lurking? You, you're now present. Hope you're doing well. Oh, yes. Freddie and I are. Oh, I love my Monday mornings here with you all. I do. Gail D, I'm glad you're well and thanks for popping in, but no pressure. If you oh, I'm literally going to put it there. And why not? Mmm. Anybody making gingerbread houses this year with the with the children or with for themselves? It doesn't have to be for children. <laughs> Yes, so I subscribe to a magazine called The Simple Thing. So the January one has been delivered. So I'm going to save that for the lovely idea, super idea that Nicole has come up with. There. Oh, and you need to get a subscription too. You you were looking for magazines for your glue book. Yes, and then um, some friends give me magazines, and I use this one's probably from the little magazine, and I get my shopping from a, a supermarket called Asda. I got a lovely Asda magazine as well, and there in America there is. There is somewhere where you can you can buy you can send off the free magazines and then there's free cycle as well. Oh, a white poncetia, that's gorgeous. I'm literally just glue, don't think, just relax. Now, when I say glue, don't think, I think of our lovely Laura. Sending love to our lovely Laura. Is this page dry now? No, not, not terribly dry. I'm just literally going, I'm just literally going to glue it down. <laughs> you can also request free travel brochures. Oh, yes. Beth, Beth gets a lot of um, brochures delivered, don't you? 
Oh, yes, great ideas from one another. That's why it's lovely to belong, sorry about the shine, to such a lovely community, a lovely art community, because we can all share ideas. Yes. Look at this fab, fab Christmas paper. Aunt, Auntie Marion, who is Melanie's, Mel Joy's sister, gave me a present and she said, oh, open it now. This was at the door when I dropped off the cookies. I said, oh, thank you. Because she said, oh, it's, it's, a, it's to wear before Christmas and it's a lovely Christmas scarf. I will show you. I'll wear it tomorrow when I do my Sophia video. <laughs> when I open my Sophia fabrics. Ooh, lovely. And I said, oh, I will be. You Do you want, it was lovely. It wasn't even creased. I said, do you want the paper back or shall I, shall I, shall I use it in my gluing? And she said, oh, no, you can use it. <laughs> that was kind. Oh, uh, Oh, yep, and Natasha, you're, you're younger, aren't you? You've got a 19-year-old. Uh, I don't have grandbaby yet, no. I've got two boys, Ben and Sam, and I've got Freddie, who is my fur baby. But my boys are adults. Oh. <laughs> uh. Um, and yes, do pop up your magazine. Ah, oh, look at that journey. You're so young. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that's funny, though. That's funny, Natasha, because I'm 21. <laughs> you believe that. You believe anything. <laughs> Let's see. I'll just put my little snowman. So I like to, like anybody does in their glue books, I just like to, it's just such a pleasure. Um, flicking through and thinking, where am I going to put this? I think I've got a snowman page. Good morning, Colleen. How are you? Oh, Colleen, oh, you make some wonderful things. You've been using those old CD envelopes, haven't you? I think I've got a snowman. Yes, my snowman page. Oh, I had a card from Iceland. Look at that wonderful, wonderful stamp from Iceland. If, if it will focus, it's like a pencil tree, like a Charlie Brown tree almost, isn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? It's too nice. I'm going to put that on my Christmas tree page, but I'm going to make it like a little pocket. This is when my book gets a bit bulky because I can't do just a glue book. I just can't do it. Oh, yes. If you want, they, they're on your Instagram, you've posted them, haven't you, Co Colleen? I must ask Ben, because he's a video editor, and they still use videos, CDs, because they send them out to clients sometimes. Because if clients have got sending off family videos to grandparents and that, they might still use CDs. He might have some of the cases because they were fab because you've got lovely little round, almost snow globey centre, haven't you? Oh, that makes a lovely. This is my Christmas tree page and here's my snowman page. <laughs> oh, we're just having a relax, um, Colleen. We're just, oh, we've had a lovely creative morning sharing ideas with one another and I'm just enjoying my lovely candy glue book here <laughs> this is my December and then after that I'm going to start January with the rest I'm not taking out any pages either it's going to get very bulky See if he has sleeves or cases. Oh, oh, yeah, they probably send them out in the cases. Oh, those sleeves were nice, weren't they? Mm. Oh, 
bar. What um, glue gunned her gingerbread house. Oh, I'm wondering whether that was a cardboard one. <laughs> Let's see what else. Oh, and I've got, oh, I can have this for my Christmas tree page. Do you know, there's nothing better. It's so lovely sometimes to do an art page. Sometimes it's just nice to do a glue bookie page. I think I did this background last week, didn't I? Just making a glue book page. Glue and glue and don't think. And I was I I interrupted myself because it just made me think about all the people in the background and all the people watching later. But when I think of glue and don't think, I always think of our lovely Laura, the Jersey crafter. Wishing you I that you're well today. Absolutely never any pressure to join us here. But just lovely to think about you and hope that you are relaxing by the fire. <laughs> oh, is this on a video? You can get store-bought ginger house kits. They sound fun. Ooh, some of my painty paper. Oh, loving this. All these, oh, loving all these pictures. Just been, you, one's desk gets very messy. Oh, I love these Christmas trees. Oh, this is nice. This is like a, oh, look at this. This reminds me that it's something Peggy would have in a window. If Peggy had it, it would be very vintage. Ooh, lovely, lovely. Ooh, that goes nice there. That's going to have something on. That's quite blank. What can I put there? Have I got any of my painted paper ready? Haven't, it's not got much on it, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, I'm going to stick that on. Doesn't it? I know. I know, just so it's not too blank. It's nice to give your glue books a name. There we are. There. So this is my candy book. <laughs> just gonna pop that there, just so it's not so blank. I'll fold that over for now and I'll rip that later. Lovely. Ooh, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I will leave it blank. I mean, I'll leave it just because I will tuck things under there. But I think there comes a time when you think, put it down. <laughs> oh, it's clear at the moment, but doesn't look like it will stay bright and clear today. You are in SC. Here, the northeast is getting a pretty nasty storm soon. Oh, wow. Now, SC. Oh, that's my test. That's a little quiz. I'm going to do a quiz with Matthew, who was here earlier, of all the different states and their initials. Where the northeast? SC. I think I probably do know that where you are that's hanging over I love that I'm going to leave that little bauble hanging over there and then I will tuck things over I don't know how that page is going to go yet what else have we got oh scrummy 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 pages mm, lovely where did my ruler go did I lose it I love tearing but alas it's got buried. Things always get buried, don't they? <laughs> oh, did I find out where SC was? It rained a bit in New Jersey. Oh, yes. And well, you've got snow, haven't you, um, in the States?
so we were discussing what the other oh look i've got red paint there on there just wash that off just wipe that there you go better than getting it on my sleeves <laughs> Quite cold here with a wind chill in Fahrenheit, in Celsius, it's minus 24, because you know that's what I, I use. Minus 24. I, I just can't, I just can't fathom that, that temperature. Look, oh, I've got paint everywhere. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I don't know. Let's just wipe that off. Oh, I love it. There we are. I just can't imagine that. I was even asking you last week, do people actually go out? And Bob said, yes, you know, like, of course we go out, you know. I just couldn't, I just couldn't fathom it. I just couldn't understand it. <laughs> hmm. It is coming. I know. We just can't. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great idea. Do a geography quiz with the kids and give them the states abbreviated. Yes. Yeah. Oh, CA is North Carolina. I knew that. It's oh, ah, I'm kicking myself now. I'm learning this so much from you guys. This is my sumptuous page, <laughs> all the sumptuous colours, with a beautiful, sorry, excuse the glare, with a beautiful palette of paint in the, in the middle. I've got another one of those palettes of paint going off in that envelope, this one. I've put a few bits together for our, for our tiny little drawer. Whether things are going to get through in the post I don't know oh candles I love adding light to these pictures I really do oh let me just give a shout out to our wonderful Sana now Sana I don't know whether you're in the background or whether you are listening or on the replay, even if you never hear this video, I'd like us all just to send out love, prayers, whatever you send out, amazing vibes to our wonderful Sana. Wishing you all the best and healing and Getting better gradually every day, dear Sana. And Beth was saying, don't forget, let's send some happy mail to, oh, um, to, to Sana. If you need her address, I think we have her address in Beth's group. But yeah, no, that, it's really nice if we can, we send our love, to Sana. Oh, I'm going to read it out just in case you can't read it. Candy says, we send, we miss you, Sana. Oh, we do. And oh, Aunt Bex has a card getting ready for you. Oh, and Candy says, please get well. You will, you will get better. You will get better. I used to say that to my dear friend. She used to phone me up and she used to say, Will I get better? And I said, yes, you will. Natasha says, we miss you too. No pressure, though. No pressure to come into the chat or to join us. We're not pressuring. We're just saying we're here for you, Sana, and we love you. Oh, Candy, that is so lovely. So lovely. We have... We have an address, and I'm hoping they go through to her. Whether it would be good to have her mother's address, whether that would be better. Well, I'm, we're going to, hmm, yeah, or message Beth. I'm trying to find out where to put my lovely candle. Sending a light to you, can, um, 
Sana. And yes, you will get better. <laughs> you certainly will. Yes, which we're from Finland. We have we have we have friends all over the world. Oh, okay. Yes, everybody's oh that's lovely. A parcel, but I'm not doing parcel. Oh look. A lovely Father Christmas, beautiful. I've got a Father Christmas page. You can see I'm not one of life's great fussy cutters. That's why it was so ironic that I was doing that mini journal at the hop because I'm a very slapdash at, um, where's my Father Christmas page? Have I got a Father Christmas page? Yes, I think I have. Oh, my Father Christmas page, I think, is in my other little journal. It's in this journal. It's in my jean journal. It's my Father Christmas page. I love to have the blank pages and just... Oh, look, you can go there. This one I'm doing... A more of a vintage vibe in this one. Fussy cutting is what someone called it. Oh, yeah, yeah, in uh, the other day. Oh, yeah, no, I thought that was a typo. Understand what you mean, Janice. Oh, our dear Janice, you're at work now, I would imagine. Such a great name. <laughs> it is, it is. Oh, dear, some people love it and find it relaxing. We're all different, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, all different. Mm, there we are. That's in that one. Oh, your dad just pulled his boat in and he's a beach bum and he's 83. That's amazing. Gosh, 83 years young. Oh, look at this little angel. Oh, she is. Look at her. Isn't she lovely? She's made. Oh, Peggy, you would love this. Talk about... I'm trying to get it in focus for you. Talk about throwback crafts. This is making, sorry, it's not focusing terribly well. It's a, a clothes peg with lots of frou frouy netting and uh, made an angel. Gosh, I love that. Oh, Gail's dad still enjoys going fishing. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, how is your dear dad, Gail? And oh, I expect you'll be going to see him. Yeah. <laughs> Kimberly says they live in a three story beach house. Oh, and he does all the stairs. You think it's all the exercise that. Ah, oh, he must be great to visit if he lives on the beach. Wow. Gosh, it's a little while since I was at the beach. A lot of people have missed out on that this year, haven't they? We were lucky enough to go. Ah, oh, she looks lovely there. She looks just lovely. I shall put her there. Oh, with my handy dandy glue stick. There's nothing more relaxing than a little bit of glue sticking. You got kicked out of Beth's group, sent a request to rejoin because I have no idea why I'm not there. Oh, these things happen, don't they, Kathy, dear? These things just, I don't know, glitches in groups and YouTube and mm. Oh, look. Mm. Oh, Natasha's joining Beth's, Beth's group too. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I'm just um, looking through all my, see, these magazine, the magazines, it's just, these are just wrapping papers and bits and bobs. These are my Brook stickers. Look at these. My, my friend prints those off for me and... 
isn't it? Isn't she lovely to do that? And she said, oh, sorry, my husband printed these off small. And I thought, oh, perfect. Love them. You love that snowman down the side. Oh, yes, thank you. He was in my, in a magazine and he's got like a woolly hat. I know, I love him, love him, love him. He's got like a little stitch there. I have to put a word there or something because I was stitching on the other side. I, I had some cookies and I put like little tags on them ready to hang on the tree. <laughs> So he got he got a little stitch on his face, but I I can stick something over that, no problem. I love snowmen. It, we live in the southeast of England, and we get snow sometimes, but every five or ten years we get a, what I call a wonderful snow day, and we get the sledge out oh now Matthew my nephew was here the best snow days we had oh it was about 10 years ago and we went to see see Matthew oh with the wooden sledge and oh we had such fun and he got they get so cold don't they we have little bits and pieces and I will take you out in the snow if we with Freddie, if we do get it, but oh, Melissa, hi, how are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> oh, Kathy, if you're still there, I I was wondering how you were getting on with your sewing machine. No pressure though to use it. You probably did answer me, but I got waylaid. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Mm, oh. Gail Janet even saw his first snow. Oh, Elvin saw his first snow on the ground. That didn't melt right away a while back. He kept licking it up. Oh, Elvin's your gorgeous little dog. Yes. I don't think Freddie has much snow in his little four years of life. <laughs> you have to be careful that their little paws don't get burnt by the cold, though, don't you? I think I'm going to put, where can I put my little... This doily was from Candy. She puts it in the, everywhere, every time I look through, there's little bits of paper and bits that she put in for me. <laughs> Lucky girl, aren't I? Gail, okay, ladies, have a question for those who do magazine harvesting. After you have torn out everything you want, do you throw out the magazine? I have such a hard time throwing them out, tossing them. Oh, do you know, I save mine because you get different, you get different projects, don't you? Yeah. I, I, mm, sometimes I have a little time where I throw them away, but a lot of the time. Um, Candy, Candy Feinberg sent me the composition notebook. <laughs> so this is this bit's December and then I'm gonna start after that I'm gonna start January in my glue book <laughs> hmm. I've got a love another composition but that Ben brought me back from Canada I can show you that but oh my that did get quite quite fluffy <laughs> Yeah, you can use ugly, ugly pages for painting. And you just never know when, if you do magazine collage pictures, whether you'll need an ugly picture might have a colour in it that you need as well. But yes, what a good idea. Use the other for painted papers or making envelopes. Yes. Alison, Ali says she never throws hers 
because not only is there pictures, there's words as well. Yes, I mean, you might go back. But if you have to, if you're getting overwhelmed, you could, sorry about the glare, folks. I will go round this. Um, if you're feeling overwhelmed, you can just start again and throw them. There are no rules. There are no rules. The only rule is have fun. Because you might think, oh, I've got so many. And you want to want a little fresh start. Or go through them again. Yeah. It's nice to get everybody else's opinions as well. Because we're chatting, we're sitting around the kitchen table with our little cup of tea, chatting. I'm loving that. And this is what we do. If we were physically together, we would be sitting around, probably with our knitting in our hands or our sewing or making a little glue book. <laughs> Ah, hold on. Gail, I never throw mine out. Pictures, there's, oh, pictures, there's words. Yep, yep, yep. Let, let me die. I just want to make sure I don't miss out. I've missed out. What was on your bucket list, Kathy? I missed that completely. Tina, hi. Good morning. Welcome. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. You could join us. We're just having a wonderful little session round the kitchen table, crafting away, chit-chatting and having cups of tea. Oh, we're going, oh, where are we going, Aunt Bex? She's dragging us um, into the bonus room. Oh, that's where the kitties are in the bonus room, isn't it? You're slowly finding your, finding this house again you're slowly finding the house oh it takes time Bex. um aunt bex and they do say that moving is up there with one of the most stressful things so be kind to yourself aunt bex don't feel that every day you have to unpack a box and have a little play and a little cuddle of the cat sometimes I loved Aunt Bex's curtains that she showed on her Facebook group the other day or was it in Fibsville look at this wrapping paper someone else gave me a present oh it was some coasters and with pictures in of Freddie and the children some drinks coasters and they gave it to me on Saturday, just in case they didn't see me before Christmas. We had a socially distanced walk and they said, oh, do open it. And I said, oh, thank you. So I saved the wrapping paper. It's all wrinkly, but I don't mind. <laughs> I think this one will go in here. Oh, Gail says she's cut out so many words and phrases over the past couple of years. You just can't save them all. Kathy, um, Gail, don't feel stressed to save everything. Yeah, we, yes. The main thing is we do need to feel relaxed and happy if you're getting overwhelmed. <laughs> yes, she, Aunt Bex is going in. <laughs> There we are. Lovely. I have no rhyme or reason, really. I thought little Rudolph with his red nose could go on the vintage Santa page. <laughs> oh, someone was saying in chat that they were making homemade candy canes. Wow. <laughs> oh, Cheryl, if you... You've been um, going off for your breakfast, I would imagine. I think it's probably that time of day. I've got a whole pile of things here, but it's probably, oh, this goes in the luscious page. Oh, I'm having too much fun here. You know, when you get to that stage where you think, oh, I want my life. just stick this one out. Just do one more, just one more picture. I'll stick one more picture and then I'll. 
I think we get into that stage where we could put numbers down. I am going to send out something, but I a little. They're only it's only a small little envelope. Nothing, nothing major. Small and light. But pop in a number. It is addictive addictive isn't it I know I know and that's when oh I love it and that's when that's when your 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 artwork just takes off when you just think I will just stick one more on and yes don't think too much let's do some fussy tearing as our Laurel would say time to celebrate I love that Time to celebrate winter. <laughs> oh, time to celebrate Christmas. Whatever you celebrate. Time to celebrate Hanukkah. Oh. So let's look. When the family is an opening presents this year, how many are going to be asking, can I get that paper? Oh, I know, Tina. That yes. I'm just as happy with the paper as I am. Oh, I'm going to put, oh, yes, I'm learning from Nicole. Relax cut glue to use more words in my glue book. Not because we have to, but just to think, I just think it looks nice. I will go around these in silver pen. Time, two, have I, oh, I've, no, I've got the two. So let's pop some. Well, Malaya, you haven't made a Christmas journal yet. Well, you are quite busy bringing up two beautiful little artistic, creative little girls. And you're doing homeschooling now, aren't you? Or online. So go easy on yourself, Malaya. There are no rules. We don't have to. We don't have to make Christmas glue books or journals. Go easy on yourself, dear Malaya. I remember what it's like to be a busy mum. And some of you are still busy mums, and and fur. You've got your fur babies, and so. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yes. Beautiful. This was doing the drawing on the windows. I tried to do a video for you guys of my, this is called curd soap, drawing on windows, but there was too much reflection. I sent off to Amazon for curd soap and you draw on the windows. So I've done some snowflakes. So I'm going to do some candles on my windows. Just going round the words in a bit of silver. <laughs> oh, oh, Malaya. Yes, posting our lovely Shelley's group. Yes. Oh, some lovely, lovely crafts from Shelley. Wrapping paper and gift bags and bows. Yes, beautiful, beautifully inspiring hop. Yes, I agree. Now, I waylaid myself, didn't I, by doing this. I was going to say, pop a number in between one and a hundred, and we will. Yes, pop it in. I'll, I'll, I'll put go. Can I put go? Yes. Yes. Pop a number in just for this little envelope. Maybe it will get to you. Maybe it won't. I always put them the day after, but that's it. Well done, Cheryl. And I'll random some numbers. That's it. Pop a number in because I do like to send happy mail. But if you're not, if you're up in the balcony watching us and listening and I'll pop a number in for Suze because she had to go to sleep, didn't she? If you want to, pop a number in for anybody and that will be brilliant. Um, yes, we all know how this works. Look at 
Steph coming in there with a hundred. I'm loving that. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, I'm loving that. But if you need happy mail, just let me know because my envelopes are very tiny. Sometimes it's just nice to have something coming through the letterbox. It, they do, it does make you happy to receive happy mail. Mm. Oh, Melissa, dear, is anybody able to go to Dollar Tree for, for you or with you, Melissa? Because you can get glue sticks in the Dollar Tree and you can get this in your, you can get this glue that we use for material in the Dollar Tree too at the moment. Is there someone that can go with you? Dear Melissa, shall I shall I press stop? Gail Ann, you would just love to get mail from you for the postage stamp. Well, Gail Ann, dear, there there is some mail coming to you, but whether it'll get there, I don't know. If it doesn't get there, just let me know, and I will send some more. I love postage stamps too. Yes. Oh, yes. I have quite the collection <laughs> from all over the years. I have some lovely vintage American ones. Oh, let me know if it doesn't come down. I can't remember when I posted it, Gal. I'll let you know, dear. Oh, Oh, Barb says, because the postman always rings twice. I watched that movie and the and the skit on it. Ah, oh, Barbara sends me the best videos oh, to watch on YouTube. Fantastic. Look up, the postman always knocks twice. <laughs> Who was the skit by as well? The, the, the um, takeoff. Ah, oh, no pressure. If I send happy mail, I don't expect anything in return. I don't. Everybody is in different phases in their life, phases and places. I'm at the moment in a phase where I am able to physically put a happy mail together and, and I'm able to send, you know, any small, but I can do that. So, hmm. <laughs> So we get to random number generator. Ran, ran. I can't even spell random now. For goodness sake, random, random number generator. Let's get that. Ah, uh, there we are. Sesame Street. Oh, yes. Go to the Sesame. Uh, if you look up on YouTube, Sesame Street, taking off the postman always knocks twice film. Oh, so funny. Such a giggle. Such a giggle. We need all the laughs and giggles we can get, don't we? I'm, ge I'm generating a number. By, by the way, 76. There you go. If you can see. 76 number 76 can can you gorgeous people in the chat let me know if you can see who has got number 76 you're going to run out of regular stamps though dang it <laughs> i love that accent oh dang <laughs> that's why you ordered more mm Hmm. There we are. Just keep them, just keep, yeah, I just keep them very light and flat. So it's nothing, nothing, it, it's the thought, it's just a little thought. Did anyone have 76 or under? And don't forget either the Clark Family Creative. The Clark Family Creative, if you want a beautiful um, videos channel to watch oh in different states you pay more yeah hmm. malaya is doing a facebook 
room's party this Sunday. Oh, I love a party. I will be there. I will be there with bells on. No, I will be there, Malaya, in my pyjamas because it will actually be the middle of the night for me. <laughs> oh, Kimberly, you think Gail Ann with 64. Oh, Gail Ann, super duper duper. Gail Ann. Oh, lovely. Oh, Gail Ann, dear. And thank you for all your work you do here. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Now, it, was there anything on the desk, Gail Ann, that you, want, you, that you saw that you wanted me to put in the envelope? I haven't put Christmas things in this envelope because I think it's probably going to get there after Christmas. But if there's anything you saw on the desk that you want me to pop in, let me know. Now I know you like postage stamps. I can send some postage stamps too. It'll be Sunday at four Eastern. Oh, four. Oh, four's not too bad. It when 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 uh, our lovely Beth comes on at seven thirty Eastern. That's eleven thirty at night for me. Oh, I might not even be in my pajamas. I might be in my Christmas jumper. <laughs> Oh, well done. Oh, that's it, Gail. Mail coming your way. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I better let you girls go and start your day. And for some people, it's the afternoon. And for me, goodness me, it's very dark now and rainy outside. <laughs> I, I'm going to go and deliver a few bits to... I've, I'll deliver some Christmas cards because we've been to the park already. So Freddie and I will probably just nip down the road. Oh, Natasha. No, not at all. You, Natasha, she's done with Christmas. Finished. She started. No, I think it's lovely. Natasha, you do what makes you happy. And I think at the moment, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Uh, crafting. Oh, no. Janet, thank you. Thank you for being here with me. I, I love, I love it. Absolutely love my Monday mornings here with you. Oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> Starting the day off. Oh, thank you, Peggy and Colleen. Thank you. We're starting the week off together and we're starting it. Yes, positively. Oh, actually, that reminds me as I still. No, Colleen, I am. I'm addicted. I can't stop. <laughs> I missed Aaron. Ah, oh, Aaron. Hi. You made it. So nice to see you. Come on in. Well, I'm little chat while, while I just read a few bits out. I had something to share with you and it was a saying but I don't know where I put it so I might have to put that in the description later. I've lost it. It was about putting something on your heart but no I didn't write it down in this notebook. Hmm. No, I didn't. So I will just read out. It's something I've read before. I'll read this out. And this, this was sent to me by our lovely Caroline. Caroline will be was here earlier. She was probably having a nice little healing sleep now. And Caroline said, focus on the step in front of you, not the whole staircase. And... That's an amazing, it's an amazing thing just to start the week off. Sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming at this time of year. And sometimes our emotions are overwhelming at this time of year. Sometimes it's just actually not an easy time of year for people. It really isn't. So sending love, thoughts, Positive, 
positive vibes out. And Caroline doesn't say this easily. It's not easy to focus on the step that's in front of you. Because Caroline's journey has not been smooth this year, has it, darling? Focus on the step in front of you, not the whole staircase. Oh, oh and you're giving Freddie hugs. Where is my dear Freddie? Let me see. It's getting quite dark here. If I turn this light up to the fullest, let me get you down. Let me lift you down here. See if you can see. Oh, see my slippers. <laughs> Where's our young Freddy? Where are you, my dear? Oh, look, he's curled up in a little ball. There he is. Freddy. Oh, do you see his little ears? He's not focused particularly well, but there's Freddy. The girls are sending love. Oh, there he is. Well, Goodbye, everybody, and love from Freddie and me. He's invisible. He's a he's a dark dog, isn't he? Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. I'm not bad. To be fair, I'm not very good with the camera. <laughs> you can see his little eyes. Freddie, you gonna? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even move his ears. <laughs> oh, take care. Yes, Kimberly, dear friends, take care, dear friends, and have, have a good week, and have a good day, and happy eating. <laughs> he's camouflaged, I know, you can only see his paws, that's his little head, actually, that you can see. <laughs> oh, you see him now. Oh, goodbye, dear friends. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. And thank you for being su such creative people with so many wonderful ideas to share with me. Thank you. Ooh, goodbye, all. <laughs> oh.